Let's talk about the history of Valentine's Day. From February 13th to the 15th, Romans would celebrate the Feast of Lupercalia. During this feast, the men would tend to get drunk and naked, and they would even sacrifice animals, particularly goats and dogs. Once they had the skin of these animals, the woman would line up and the men would hit the woman with the skins of the animals, yes, because they believed doing so would make them more fertile. There was even a matchmaking lottery where the men would draw names out of a jar and then the couples would be coupled up during the duration of the feast or even longer if the match was right. And the ancient Romans are actually responsible for the name of this modern day love that so many people love to celebrate. See, Emperor Claudius executed two men, both named Valentine, surprisingly, on February 14th at different years in the 3rd century. And their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebration of St. Valentine's Day. As the holiday spread, however, it soon began to evolve. William Shakespeare helped romanticize Valentine's Day in his work and gained popularity throughout Britain and the rest of Europe. And during this time, the Normans celebrated Gallatin's Day. Gallatin meaning lover of women. Kind of sounds like Valentine's Day, the little twist that single women tend to put on Valentine's Day. Eventually, this tradition made its way into the New World, and the Industrial Revolution ushered in factory-made cards in the 19th century. People love celebrating holidays without ever truly understanding their origin. Always do your research.